Hello, giving unto God on this Lord's Day. All my brothers and sisters in Christ, Minister Lord Spate, Twin Ministries. I thank the Lord for another day. I thank the Lord for just being God all by himself. And I just wanted to talk about, you know, a lot of times people go through life and uh, they go around in circles, not knowing what what is their purpose uh, in life. Uh, I believe a lot of people... Uh, the reason that a lot of people commit suicide because they feel they have no worth. Um, they feel that they're that the world would be better off without them. And working in mental health, uh, you know, I've had people who have suicidal ideations and say that you know this world will be better off without me. I I I just I'm no good. My family has rejected me, and I. Uh, I don't have any friends and because uh, of my mind, because of the stigma uh, that, you know, I'm no earthly good. But, you know, I just want to encourage people to know that God made everybody for a purpose. Uh, I am reminded of Psalms 156 when it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. The reason we were born is to give God praise to give him honor. And somewhere in our life, we get turned around by distractions of the world, maybe getting in relationships that we thought was what we was looking for for happiness. One of the things that happen is that a lot of us start to look for love in all the wrong places. But I'm here to tell you that if you want to find love, you want to find it in Christ. Because once you find love in Christ, you'll know for sure what's counterfeit. And God sent his son Jesus to die for us, knowing that God is the creator and we are the creature. The biggest problem that happened is that when we get it reversed and we start idolizing the creature instead of the creator. You know, there's a lot of people, they worship things that shouldn't be worshiped. Uh, you know, the Bible talked about how God, in the Ten Commandments, when Exodus 20th chapter, when it says that there shall have no other God before me. And sometimes it's not even intentionally, but we wind up worshiping spouses, children, jobs, money, anything that takes your mind off Christ becomes your idol. But I just wanted to talk for a few minutes from Psalms 156 that I was born to give you praise. Because it says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. And I'm here to praise him when I feel like it, when I don't feel like it. Because I know I owe my very being to the Christ. Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price that no one ever could pay for me. And I just want to give him praise because even though my shortcomings, he's seen something in me. He's seen my worth in my unworthiness. And for that, I am grateful. I just want you to know that I was born to give him praise. Uh, at my church, the youth choir used to sing a song called I'm, I Was Born to Give Him Praise. And because I know my purpose in life is to give him praise, that's why I am committed to the cause. We shouldn't let anything distract us from serving Lord, the Lord. Realizing that our trials and tribulations come to make us better. Because if it was not for trials and tribulations, a lot of us wouldn't be where we are now. You know, a lot of people think that they want every day to be Sunday. Never having no health problems. Never having no conflict with other people. But I'm here to tell you, that's not the real world. As long as you live in this world because of the sin of Adam and Eve... You're going to have some trials and you're going to have some tribulations. You're going to have some 
naysayers. You're going to have people that you think was for you only to find out that they disappointed you. And one thing that I've learned in my life is to lower my expectation toward people. And the reason I say that is because then when they don't live up to the expectation that I expected, then I won't be disappointed. See, the thing about it is that when we put our trust in men and when we think that men are supposed to do this and do that, and then when they turn around and, and they disappoint us, it's not them, it's us because we expected too much from them. We expected them to be where only God should be. And when we learn in our life, uh, our true purpose that we were saved, not only saved, but saved for a purpose, then we will understand that only the creator is the one that we should give reverence to. We have people in our life. We have support systems. And I, and that's that's wonderful. We come together when we lose loved ones and, and we bring comfort. But how many of us understand that that happens for a while? We get up at funerals and say how we miss this person and tell the family, oh, I'm going to be there for you, friends. Oh, I'll be there. Just call me. I'm only a call away. But how many of us really, after everything is said and done, we go on to doing what we was doing in the first place? And we don't get together again until there's another funeral. I'm just being honest. Sickness and funeral bring people together. And you know what? That is so backwards. What ought to bring people together is family reunions and love. Knowing that they're only a phone call away. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I'm a person. I'm pretty much a loner. But I'm a loner for a purpose because of the fact that what I do, I use my time with the Lord for him to guide me and lead me. Because anything else, just like anything else, people think that God and messengers don't get discouraged. But I'm here to tell you, the devil is always on our tracks. We always have to stay covered because God has a plan for us. And the devil's purpose is to tear down anything the Lord want us to do. So let me tell you something. Messengers of God, that's a hard job. Because if you think Satan bothers just his followers, Jesus' followers, the parishioners, he's on the pastors and the preachers more than anything. Because Satan knows one thing. If he can shut down God's word, if he can shut down God's glory, then he know that he can get something accomplished. But what we have to do, we have to continue to be God's mouthpiece because of the fact of the matter. We have to understand that if we're God's mouthpiece, we have to continue to remind Satan that he is a defeated foe. Oh, we get discouraged when we don't understand why people don't come together. Why, when you need your fellow man, they seem far removed. But I'm here to tell you that we are born to give God praise. And because we're born to give him praise, we walk in victory because he will equip us to do this. God has made it so that we can worship him in spirit and in truth. You got to understand something, my brothers and sisters. If it had not been for the Lord on your side, you could have been snuffed out a long time ago. Not only from just natural things, trials and tribulations, the things that you know that the Lord uh, kept you from. But through dangers seen and unseen, how many things that you may not even know about that could have took your life. Uh, but Jesus uh, sent his charge of angels uh, to take care of you. Uh, that's why I say 
We are born to give him praise. We are born to give him reverence. We're going to give him the glory that he deserves. Oh, let me tell you something. The government, the schools, the courthouses try to keep Christ out of everything. So we have to kick it up a notch and put God back in it. Just because they say it, it don't mean anything. You can walk in Christ. You can talk. In Christ, because we are born to give him praise. I don't care what may come at me. I'm going to praise him till I can't praise him anymore. I know that I work for the call of the higher calling. I can identify with Apostle Paul. He said, not that I have attained. He said, but I'm, I'm putting behind those things and I'm pressing towards the mark of the higher calling. What he's saying is that I'm going all the way. If you know, like the Jeffersons, that you're moving on up. So when you hear me praising him, it's because I'm preparing to meet my master. One of these old days, I tell you, I feel okay today. I know the Lord has me. Uh, had some trials and tribulations, uh, had some disappointments in my life. Uh, I've been a victim, but I tell you right now, in the name of Jesus, uh, that I am a victor because Jesus uh, paid it all. Uh, that no weapon formed against me, uh, like it says in I play a fifty-four seventeen. No weapon formed against me, shall prosper. It never said that the weapons won't come, but they can't prosper. If you look at the 23rd Psalms, it says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Let me tell you something, the shadow of death. Death can harm you, but the shadows of death can't touch you. I want you to know that, brothers and sisters, when you learn your purpose in this life, that you was born to give God praise, everything that happened in my life was good because God did it. When you learn to put Jesus in front and let him be your GPS, let him order your steps. Uh, say, Lord, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to praise you when I feel like crying. I'm going to praise you when people turn their back on me. Uh, I might have to cry all night long. Uh, but I know and I take you at your word uh, that weeping may endure for a night. Uh, but joy That unspeakable joy comes in the morning. I ain't worried about what goes on. I do get disheartened sometimes. But I tell you one thing. I got joy in my heart. I'm not based on my circumstances. My joy is based on who I am. I am Christ. I want somebody to know today. And I proclaim before the world, uh, that I was born uh, to give him praise. uh, And I'm going to praise him in the midnight hour, in the noonday. I thank the Lord because every time I called on him, uh, he called and he answered my prayer. Uh, I got a communication with him. See, sometimes it ain't enough just to talk to the Lord. You got to get in conference. Got to get down on your knees. And somebody need to know that it's hard to fall when you on your knees. You got to stand grounded and rooted in the word of the Lord. He will never leave you nor forsake you. No your purpose. Uh, if you don't know it, I'm here to tell you that you was born uh, to give God praise uh, because he's worthy. Uh, and I tell you, this old corruptible world uh, will pass away. But he sent his only begotten son uh, to make a way out of no way. Uh, I'm grounded 
and I'm rooted in the Lord. Jesus, he lifted me. Satan had me bound. When he tried to take my mind, but Jesus came in uh, and did what he do. That is show out. Uh, when he show up, uh, he's going to show out, folks. Uh, he's going to show you uh, what it is uh, to serve him. Uh, there's some eternal rewards uh, that you can't get uh, on this earth. But he's good enough to give you some. Of your rewards here on this earth. So if you ever don't know your purpose, know what it's like to be clothed and in your right mind. Because Jesus paid it all that you may have a right uh, to the tree of life. Keep your war clothes on. Uh, go in your war room. Don't get discouraged because you give the devil some confidence uh, that he don't need to have. Uh, I know uh, this journey is not easy, but God will order your steps. Uh, and when you can't walk it, that's when he comes in and he carries you. When I go the last mile of the way, he, I know my God uh, is getting me ready. For that great day, I'm going to enjoy my journey in this life. No matter what may come at me, I might not feel like praising sometimes. But then when I think about what he gave to save a wretch like me, that joy comes in my heart. And I remember, <laughs> Lord, I am somebody. I want to talk to the ones that are suffering from low self-esteem. The ones that are being bullied. The ones that feel like that outcast. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Jesus came <laughs> to save the less, the lost, and the least. And if you are one of those, huh, Jesus is on your side because his words say him that is exalted huh, shall be humbled and him that is humbled huh, shall be exalted. Huh. Your day is coming. You just hold on to God's unchanging hand and he will make a way for you. I just want you to know that let everything that has breath, praise God. Because I was born to praise him. And so were you born to praise the Lord. Praise him when you feel like crying. Praise the Lord. And see when he turned things around. Be still and know that he is the author and finisher of our faith. And if he's the finisher, which means he's already at the end of your journey. And if he's the author and finisher of your faith, guess what? You're going to reach the finish line. Because Jesus, he's already guaranteed it. And when you feel unworthy, remember you're exonerated at the cross. He throw your sins in the sea of remember no more. But we have to strive to do better and walk in worthiness. But I just want to talk for a few minutes about I was born to praise him. Let's give him his glory. Let's try. To point folks in the right direction. Oh, it's a shame. All of these things that are going on. The way the world is. And every day you turn on the news, something else is happening. New diseases and sickness and destruction. But yet the churches are empty. Something is wrong. 
But God wants us to praise him. We don't need rocks to cry out for us. Let us praise him ourselves. And I just want to talk for a few minutes about I was born to give him praise. Minister Lord Spate, may the peace of Jesus be with each and every one of you. God bless you.